Hello guys, my name is Madhun and welcome to my channel. This is the 48th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. This tutorial is going to be a short one and I'm just going to discuss uh, one command with you guys and that's the sleep command. And sleep is used to produce time delays in the execution of your shell scripts. And uh, without talking about sleep much, I'll just demonstrate it to you guys uh, in a shell script so i have my text editor here and i've saved this file in the home folder it's called sleep and has the extension sh and uh, what the script file is going to do is it's going to ask the user to enter a sentence and then it will save the sentence or the input in a variable and then it would use for loop to iterate over the words in the variable and it will display one word at a time on screen but it's gonna also produce a delay between the printing of each word right so Firstly, I'll use echo to ask the user to enter a sentence, enter a sentence and uh, the colon and the slash C sequence. And then I'll use read to store the input in a variable called str, right? Now I'll type in the keyword for because I'm going to use for loop to iterate over the words in the sentence. And then I'll have to type in my control variable for the loop, which I'm going to call word and then the keyword in and then the sentence over which I want for to iterate. And since in this case, we've stored the input in the variable str, I'll have to type in $str here, right? On the next line, I'll type in the keyword do, and uh, that's to get in the for block. And inside the for block, I'm just gonna use echo statement to display the words in the uh, sentence. And uh, the command for that is going to be echo space dollar word. And in the first iteration, four is going to display the first word in the sentence. In the second iteration, four is going to display the second word. And this is going to happen as many times as there are words in the sentence that's stored in the variable str. But as I said, we are going to use sleep in this uh, shell script. And sleep is going to cause a delay. And uh, I'll type in sleep space the number of uh, seconds by which I want each iteration to be delayed, right? So the first iteration is obviously not going to have any delay because uh, it's going to print the message before, uh, you know, it encounters the sleep statement. But second uh, iteration onwards, sleep is going to produce uh, some delay for us. And I'll have to specify the number of seconds by which I want the iterations to be delayed. And I'm just going to type in two here, right? And on the, on the next line, I'll type in the keyword done and that will be to close my for loop. And uh, with that, my script is complete. So I'll bring up my terminal here and I'll execute the script file by typing in sh space sleep.sh, which is the name of the file. And when I press the enter key, the shell asks me to enter a sentence. And I'll just type in something random here, uh, like Al Pacino is my favorite actor well is he how would you guys know i don't know that myself but he definitely is a legendary actor and when i press the enter key here then you see that i see the word al immediately but the remaining words in the sentence are being displayed to me with time lags right so al was displayed and then the shell waited for two seconds and then pacino was displayed and then the shell waited for two more seconds and the third word is was displayed and that happened till the last word in the sentence which is actor got displayed right and uh, once actor was displayed the for loop ran out of uh, words to iterate over and that's when the script finished its execution and the dollar prompt was returned back to me so you can play with this script you can you will obviously have to type in the code first and uh, it's a pretty easy script to understand so i'm not even going to you know go over it again uh, the only thing that you have to remember the only new thing that we've done in this script is the sleep x command and uh, if you type in sleep x then what happens is sleep uh, make sure that the next thing that has to be done in the shell script in this case it was the next for loop iteration but if it was something else for example if i had uh, another echo statement here or if i had something else then you know that statement's execution would be delayed by as many seconds as you specify so if you you know specify five then the execution would be delayed by five seconds if it's ten then ten so you know that's what sleep does so anyway, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys had fun and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we'll discuss something interesting and important again. Please subscribe to my channel.